A family is grieving and angry after a plea deal in a fatal Rockland County fire. This deal means no prison time for the two rabbis responsible for starting the deadly fire in 2021. CBS 2's Tony Aiello was in court and has details and reaction. We had to serve our own life sentence by visiting Jared at his cemetery. But meanwhile, they're off this, um, celebrating their holidays. Sabrail Davenport's anger was evident, and it was shared by dozens of first responders. And it's a shame. Upset after a plea deal that will mean probation instead of prison for the rabbis whose actions destroyed Evergreen Court assisted living, killing 79 year old Oliver Houston and firefighter Jared Lloyd, who was heroically evacuating residents. That he recklessly caused the death of Jared Lloyd? Yes. Tuesday, Rabbi Nathaniel Somer pleaded guilty to felony manslaughter. His son, Aaron, pleaded to misdemeanor reckless endangerment. They admitted to unsafe use of torches and charcoal during a ritual pre Passover cleansing of the Evergreen Court kitchen. And that this introduction of heat caused smoldering to occur within the wall space undetected, correct? Yes. The unseen fire spread and grew into a five alarm inferno. As for the plea deal, with us not having any say in anything here, it, it was a terrible decision. Lloyd's father says Judge Kevin Russo and District Attorney Tom Walsh let the family down, and the punishment, probation, doesn't match the magnitude of the rabbi's crime. These people haven't even apologized to us or said that they were sorry. There's no remorse. County Fire Coordinator Chris Keir worked with the DA on the case and shares the family's anger. Yeah, I lost my faith in the judicial system today. The rabbis will be sentenced September 20th. Jared Lloyd's parents will speak that day and also listen. They'd like to hear the judge and the DA explain the reasoning behind the plea deal. At the Rockland County Courthouse, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.